In this video, I will demonstrate the direct color communication. You will see how to establish communication between your color and your system while you have your colors on hand. For different colors, we need different devices. For the survey color, we need the USB remote stick. For vertex light colors, we need the Bluetooth stick. And for vertex plus colors, we need the cable, the USB cable. In the following, we will change configurations, download data, and change the GPS schedule of our colors. So let's start with our survey color. We just have to open GPS plus X and connect our USB remote stick. If you plug in the remote stick for the first time, a window will appear that asks you to register your device. Give the remote stick a name and we can access it via the device tree. Expand the node, go to device search and click on start search. Now we have to activate the collar with its magnet Attach the magnet and detach it after one second. The survey color appears in the device tree. Now communication is established and we can manage our color, for example, download its position data. For this, we go to collected data and click on position. Again, we send a comment to the color, so we have to activate it. It can happen that an error occurs. In that case, try it again. So press read position data for another try. This time it works and we can see all GPS positions in the data table. Now we send our data to the data storage by clicking the storage symbol. We can check if the storage received the data. For this, we click on storage in the data tree and expand the default storage and navigate to our collar. In my case, the collar ID is 20411. We can see that the storage received the position data, which we just sent, so we can go back to the collar to delete its data. Attach and detach the magnet. Send the data to the storage again, otherwise you receive a warning that the data has not been stored, even though they are stored in the system. Press Erase Position Data from Collar. A window will pop up and leave you 20 seconds to cancel the deletion. And after these seconds have elapsed, all position data of our collar are saved to the storage and erased on the collar, so we just recovered the storage of our collar. But before, we have to attach and remove the magnet once again. Okay, now I show you how to manage a vertex light collar using the Bluetooth stick. If you plug in the Bluetooth stick for the first time, a window will pop up and ask you to give the Bluetooth stick a name. The stick appears in the device list. Remove the magnet of your vertex light collar now it is accessible via Bluetooth for 5 minutes and after you have to reactivate the collar. We expand the node and can see all colors and range of the stick. Now we can manage our collar, for example download our data like before or change user configurations. For this we expand configuration and click on user configuration. I changed the Iridium mode to 4 positions per message and the UTC correction to plus 1 hour. I press apply and to check if the changes received the color I go to information and open the info file. Here I can see the UTC correction of 1 hour like we typed it in before. Then we scroll down to the Iridium mode and the Iridium mode is set to 4 positions per message. Now we know that all changes received the color and we save the info file with our changes to our computer for documentation. And then we go back to the user configurations. 
You can change any configurations here, but please spend some thoughts on your changes. It may affect the accessibility of your collar. If you're not sure about your changes, don't hesitate to contact our customer service. To establish communication with the Vertex Plus collar, we simply have to plug it to the computer using the USB cable. The collar also appears in the device list and we can manage it in all listed manners. I will demonstrate how to change the GPS schedule of the collar. For this, go to Schedules and GPS. Here we see the current schedule of the collar and we can change it however we want. The sequence is a time span within the period length between you like to take GPS positions. Here you can define offset and defines the time span between the start of the period and the recording of the first GPS position. The duration is the period in which the GPS positions will be recorded with a fix rate repetition and the fix rate defines how often a GPS fix is recorded. In my example, I change the fix rate to 4 hours, so every 4 hours a fix will be recorded. On the right side of the screen, you can see a visualization of the schedule. Just hold your cursor over it to see the schedule and the planned fixes. We also can add new rules and get as complex as we want. I change the start date and end date of this rule that I can have a different fix rate for a specific time period. Then I expand the sequences to change the fix rate to 30 minutes. So between start and end date, the fixes will be recorded every 30 minutes. After you proceed the changes, press apply to send the changes to the collar and check again the info file if the collar received the changes. Scroll down to the GPS schedule section. Now here it is. And we can see that the new schedule is already there with all our changes. Then we save the info file for documentation and go back to Schedules and GPS. The last step is to save the schedule for documentation on your computer. That was the video about how to establish communication with Survey, Vertex Lite and Vertex Plus colors and some possibilities in direct color communication. I hope you've learned something and thank you for watching.